What are micronutrients? We're going to be learning about this today on Homeschool Arcade, so check it out. What are micronutrients? And why are they so important? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this Homeschool Arcade video. Now, don't forget, if you like this material, click like, subscribe, and the bell, and hey, give it a share, and be notified when we have new content coming out. So, what exactly are micronutrients? Well, first of all, for a quick review, if you remember the last video we talked about macronutrients, and the main four macronutrients are carbohydrates, fats, protein, and water. And our bodies need large amounts of these nutrients to function. Large, macro, get it? Now, when we talk about micronutrients, it generally refers to vitamins and minerals. And our bodies only need small, small amounts of these nutrients. So you might be thinking, well, if we only need a little bit of these nutrients, well, are they not that important because of that? Well, you need to remember this. These micronutrients are absolutely essential for our bodies to function properly. Lacking even one of these essential micronutrients can cause serious negative symptoms to our bodies, disease, and who knows what else. So we really need these vitamins and minerals. But what exactly are they and how can we make sure that we are getting enough of them? Let's just first talk about vitamins. Vitamins are organic substances made by plants and animals. And there are 13 essential vitamins that our body needs. And they can be broken down into two categories. There's fat-soluble vitamins, and then there's water-soluble vitamins. What does that mean? Well, what it means is, well, fat-soluble vitamins are stored in our body's fat tissue and in our liver, while water-soluble vitamins are not stored and they need to be replaced every single day. So if for some reason you have an excess of water-soluble vitamins in your systems, well, then what happens is they have to leave the body. And the way they leave your body is through your urine. Now, water-soluble vitamins include vitamin C and a variety of B vitamins. But some of these B vitamins include thymine, riboflavin, niacin, pantothenic acid, pyrooxidine, biotin, folate, and cobalamin. And the fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins A, E, D, and K. That's much easier. Now, vitamins are important as they assist our bodies with essential functions. Just a few of the things they help with includes like making bone tissue, helping us see things correctly, and helping our immune systems and our nervous systems function properly. Having a deficiency or lack of any of these vitamins can cause illnesses. So the best way to get these critical vitamins, yes, you've heard it a million times, eat healthy, you have a variety in your diet, lots of different types of foods. However, something interesting is, well, vitamin D and vitamin K, these are unique because our bodies actually make these for themselves. Our bodies make vitamin D when we're exposed to sunlight. And good bacteria in our intestines can provide us with small amounts of vitamin K. Now, let's move from vitamins and let's talk about minerals. Minerals are non-organic. They're non-organic materials found in water, soil, and rocks. And plants absorb these minerals through their roots. These minerals are then passed into animals when they eat plants. Now, there are, get this, 16 minerals that can be separated into two main categories. We got macro minerals, which we need more of, and micro minerals, which we need less of. And the seven main kinds of macro minerals are, well, calcium, chloride, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and sulfur. And the nine micro minerals our body needs are chromium, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, and zinc. <laughs> and just like vitamins, minerals are extremely important for our good health. Now, they help make up some of the structure of our bodies, and they help with many of the processes such as maintaining the fluid balance in our bodies, transmitting nerve impulses, regulating blood sugar, and keeping our, our skin and our hair all healthy, and much, much more. And also, just like vitamins, the very best way to obtain all the essential minerals is by eating a diverse and healthy diet. Additionally, it's important to remember that unprocessed food 
also called Whole Foods. That's not an advertisement for Whole Foods. That's the actual term. Whole Foods are the best source of these important micro minerals. For example, a processed sugary donut that is or boxed mac and cheese, no matter how delicious they are, provide little in the way of minerals and vitamins. And while processed foods are sometimes enriched or fortified with vitamins and minerals, meaning they've had these nutrients and minerals added in, our bodies still more easily absorb and process the vitamins and minerals that occur naturally in our foods. So choosing foods like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and other unprocessed foods will often be the better choice for your overall health if you're hoping to get more vitamins and minerals in it. And although there's nothing wrong with the occasional donut or treat, but <laughs> yum, now we know a bit more about micronutrients and why, you know, we got to be careful with that. So micronutrients are extremely important to our health in a multitude of different ways. So the next time, you know, you eat a nice crisp apple or a crunchy carrot or some other healthy treat, remember it's full of nutrients and minerals that helps keep your body working, energetic and doing what it is made to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us for our next video where we will learn more about carbohydrates. So again, click subscribe, like the bell, and share this content as we learn more together.